Now to Army Hammer, who is bracing for the impact of Friday's premiere of Discovery Plus's bombshell docuseries, House of Hammer. Completely tying you up and incapacitating you and then being able to do whatever I wanted until I was done with you. According to our ET source, the disgraced actor, quote, has an idea about what's coming. He said, I'm 100% a cannibal. I spoke to Army's aunt, Casey Hammer, who says the allegations of sexual and physical abuse, which Army denies, fits in with what she calls their family's decades-long pattern of terror. Were you surprised when you saw what was going on with him? To be honest with you, I wasn't shocked because it was multi-generational, just awful behavior and abuse. My father slapped my mom really hard and I just remember seeing blood splatter. She told me that everything was gonna be okay. You don't just wake up one day and become a monster, right? You're groomed in a way of what you accept. There needs to be a me too with home as well because it's just because your parents give birth to you doesn't give them free reign to say or do whatever they want to. Ironically, back in 2017, Army talked to ET about being a victim's advocate in the Me Too movement. We're here, we're here to listen to you and we're here to believe you. Yet in the three-part doc, several of Army's ex-girlfriends detailed chilling claims of survival. I was almost fully controlled by somebody. You're his, completely. They want to ask who's Army Hammer? They want to who's say, yeah, where, where is the other guy? The Hammer family's oil dynasty at one point was worth an estimated $1.6 billion. In the doc, it's revealed very little of that was passed down to the family. Explain to us how that wealth didn't trickle down. It all depends. There's Hammer broke, Army Hammer broke, and there's regular people broke. It's all relative. Army's net worth has recently been estimated to be as low as $100,000. Earlier this summer, he was rumored to be selling timeshares in the Cayman Islands to make ends meet. Any plans for a return to the acting scene in the near future? Army is now back in LA. Our source tells ET he is committed to sobriety, but quote, his friends are nervous that the documentary will crush him.